Hello everyone and welcome to this video, where we are going to talk about mysterious and feared places that, according to legends, are the gates to the underworld. Throughout history, humanity has believed in the existence of an underground world, a dark and fearsome place where the souls of the dead reside, and in each culture, there are specific sites that supposedly function as thresholds to this realm. Get ready for a journey filled with myths, stories, and mysteries as we together discover these forbidden places on Earth. Our first stop takes us to the ancient city of Hierapolis, in present-day Turkey, known for housing the alleged gates of Hades according to Greek mythology. Imagine strolling through the ruins of this ancient city, seeing the mysterious cave called Plutonium, where ancient legends speak of the release of deadly vapors. The priests who officiated in this place were said to possess the incredible ability to withstand these vapors, further fueling the belief that this was an access to the world of the dead. But it's not all mystery and legends. Science provides us with a reasonable explanation for the deadly vapors. It turns out that the plutonium is located above a geological fault that emits carbon dioxide. In high concentrations, this gas can be lethal to humans. So, although the explanation is less mystical, we still have the impression of an eerie and mysterious place where life and death seem to be separated by a thin line. Now we head east to Fengdu, China, also known as the City of Ghosts. Imagine walking through its streets filled with chilling statues and temples, each telling a different story about the afterlife. This place has been considered a connection point between the world of the living and the dead since the Han Dynasty, making it a pilgrimage destination for both the curious and the believers. The Buddhist and Taoist temples and shrines found here are filled with symbolism related to the underworld. The macabre statues of demons and dark gods remind us of the punishments and trials that, according to legend, souls must face on their journey to the afterlife. There is even a replica of the Naraka Bridge, which souls are supposed to cross to be judged. While beliefs may vary, the message is clear, Fengdu is a visual representation of what may await us in the beyond. We travel to Italy, specifically to Lake Avernus, an entrance to the underworld according to ancient Roman mythology. Now imagine this, you are standing on the edge of this tranquil and dark lake, surrounded by dense forests and ancient ruins. The name, Avernus, comes from Latin and means, without birds, as the Romans believed that birds flying over the lake would die due to the toxic gases emanating from it but the scientific explanation is less supernatural and more natural. Avernus is a lake crater, formed by volcanic activity in the Campi Phlegrii region, known for its intense geothermal activity. The toxic gases that may have once emanated from the lake were likely sulfur dioxide, deadly to birds and other animals. Although it is no longer dangerous today, the lake retains its mystical reputation, with its calm and dark water reflecting the ancient belief that it was a gateway to the underworld. Our journey takes us to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, where we will delve into the dark and winding system of underwater caves. For the ancient Mayans, these places were considered entrances to Zabalba, their version of the underworld. Imagine exploring these underwater corridors, submerged in almost total darkness, with only the sound of your air bubbles accompanying you. The caves, some of which house human remains and ceremonial offerings, were viewed by the Mayans as places of fear and respect, a physical link to the world of gods and ancestors. In fact, Zabalba was not only a place of death but also of rebirth, reflecting the cyclical view of life and death in Mayan cosmology. Although these caves may appear simply as geological formations to some, for the Mayans and for us on this journey, they represent something much deeper and more mysterious. Our final stop takes us to the remote desert of Turkmenistan, where we will discover the mysterious Starvaza Crater, also known as the Gate to Hell. Imagine standing on the edge of this burning crater, feeling the heat of the flames and the blinding glow of the light emanating from its interior. This massive fiery pit has been burning relentlessly for over half a century, giving the impression of being a portal to an infernal world. This crater is the result of an accident during a gas exploration in 1971 when the ground collapsed beneath a drilling rig, creating a massive pit. To prevent the release of methane gas, it was decided to set it on fire, expecting it to burn out in a few days. But to this day, it continues to burn, 
its glow visible for kilometers. Although the gate to hell was created by human hands and not supernatural forces, the sight of this burning crater in the middle of the desert still inspires fear and awe, like a gateway to a world beyond our understanding. After this fascinating journey through the alleged gates to the underworld, we come face to face with the inevitable reflection on what these places mean to us. Each one, from Hierapolis to Darvaza, reflects human beliefs and fears about the unknown and the unexplored. The fact that different cultures at different points across the globe have conceptualized their own underworld and its respective entrances speaks to the universality of the fear of death and the afterlife. Instead of viewing these places as dark and fearsome, perhaps we could consider them as reminders of our ancestral need to understand the unknown. They bear witness to our fascination with the mysteries of life and death and our ongoing search for answers. Through this journey, we have explored not only the most enigmatic corners of our planet, but also the depths of our own beliefs and fears. Thank you for joining me thus far, and I hope you found it useful. See you in the next video.